Hello, lovely people. I am Radha Tripathi, and I welcome you all to this session where we will be discussing the case laws related to constitution and polity. And this session is not only important for the judicial services aspirants, but also for your mains answer writing in UPSC in GS paper two, and also for the political science. So what we have done here is we have uh, chosen a topic, and all the case laws, landmark case laws, recent case laws, and the relevant uh, case laws are jotted down below. For example, we have taken the topic preamble. So, अब उससे related जो भी आपके landmark cases हैं, relevant cases हैं, और recent cases हैं, वो along with their summary आपको provided है. आप इसको क्या कैसे use कर सकते हो? You can use it in your essays and also in your answers. And of course, they are important for your prelims examinations. और और क्या benefit हो सकते हैं आपको इस session से? You will get the crisp and concise case law notes, important information boxes, past year question based case laws, table flow charts, and the timestamps. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. Okay, so first let's see the features of the constitutions. Features क्या होते हैं? अब हम कोई भी subject जब हम पढ़ते हैं, सबसे पहले हम उसके features जानने होते हैं कि what the subject is all about, what are the properties of that subjects. All right. So the first case we have is Ram Jawaharlal Nehru versus State of Punjab. The Indian Constitution adopted the system of parliamentary form of the government of England. Secondly, we have S R Bhumi versus Union of India. Secularism to develop understanding and respect towards the different religion. Excel Ware versus Union of India: the socialism, decent standard of life, and the social sanctity. L Chandra Kumar versus Union of India: the judicial review is the basic structure of the constitution. S R Bhumi versus Union of India: we have that the Indian Constitution is federal. Up federalism के ऊपर federal क्या होता है? Federal means the power is equally divided between the union and the state. तो अलग-अलग cases में अलग-अलग views आए. Some said that Indian uh, India is a federal uh, India में federalism है. Some said कि नहीं है. किसी ने बोला quasi federal है. Some said कि uh, center is stronger than the state. Let's see what are the cases about that. Now we have Ram Jawaharlal Nehru Kapoor versus State of Punjab. The doctrine of separation of power is not incorporated in the strict and the rigid form. ठीक है, that is why federalism थोड़ा सा इधर उधर है. The state of West Bengal versus Union of India, the constitution is not truly federal, and the states are not sovereign. ठीक है? Now the state of Rajasthan versus Union of India, federalism is largely watered down by the needs of the progress and the development of the country. मतलब इन country की needs के हिसाब से और उसके development के लिए federalism को watered down करा गया है. Now we have Kuldeep Nair versus Union of India, 2006 case, quite the relevant uh, recent one. Federalism leans in the favor of strong center or the unitary power. Jilu Bhai Nana Bhai Khachar case, Article 300A is not the basic feature of the Constitution. Kya hai Article 300A? It is the right to property. Pehle it was the fundamental right, but it's no more a fundamental right after the 44th of the Constitutional Amendment. Now we have L. Lakshmi Narayan versus Union of India. 2020 का केस है। See the very relevant case law, very recent case law. The constitutional conventions are born and recognized in the working of the constitution. अब आते हैं प्रेम्बल की तरफ। प्रेम्बल, what is प्रेम्बल? प्रेम्बल tells about the principles and the objectives which the constitution seeks to achieve. तो प्रेम्बल can be used as the source of inspiration and it is also used for the interpretation of the constitution. हम प्रेम्बल को सेंटर में रखके हम पूरे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन की इंटरप्रेटेशन करते हैं ताकि वी कैन अचीव द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स व्हिच आर रिटेन इन द प्रेम्बल। नाउ लेट्स सी द केसेस। इंद्रे बेरुबरी यूनियन केस, एआईआर 1960। प्रेम्बल इज़ नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ़ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन। सबसे पहले सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने बोल दिया प्रेम्बल पार्ट ही नहीं है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन का। सेकंड � Nandini Sundar vs. State of Shattisgarh, Preamble, Social, Economic and Political Justice cannot be neglected. Sajjan Singh vs. State of Rajasthan, the Preamble represents the quintensis, philosophy, ideals, souls and the spirit of the constitution. Preamble ko, somebody said that it is the soul of the constitution. SR Bombay vs. Union of India, the Preamble is an integral part of the constitution. फिर अब ये दोनों केस लॉज आते हैं इंद्रे बेरोबरी में वो आता है डेट प्रेम्बल इज़ नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ़ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड एसआर बोमई में इट वाज़ हेल्ड डेट प्रेम्बल इज़ एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ़ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन नाउ केके भास्करन वर्सेस स्टेट ऑफ़ तमिलनाडु इंटरप्रेट कॉन्स्टिट्यूश now we have Keshwanand Bharti versus State of Kerala. Preamble is the part of the constitution. 
uh, and it can be amended without altering the basic structure. Keshwanand Bharti is the historic judgment in which the doctrine of basic structure was propounded. constitution You can amend anything, you can amend fundamental rights or any part of the constitution. But you cannot amend the basic structure of the constitution. Or basic structure kya hai? Ye hum aapko batayenge. Supreme Court ne kaha, basic structure kya hai? Ye hum batayenge. There is no clear definition. Jabhi bhi aap kuch uh, amend karoge, we will let you know whether it is the part of basic structure. If it is, you cannot amend that. If it is not the part of basic structure, you can amend that. Now we have Prathvira Chauhan versus Union of India. That fraternity, dignity of the individual and the unity and the integrity of nation. 2020 ka case hai, very decent one. Now we have Union and Territory. Amar Singh Ji versus State of Rajasthan, the territory of India specified in the first schedule under Article 1. In Riberuberi's case, AIR 1960, the power of parliament to diminish the area of state does not cover the cession of Indian territory to a foreign state. Now we have Babulal versus State of Bombay, the parliament is not bound to accept or act upon the views of the state legislature. Maganbhai versus Union of India, the agreement to refer the dispute to the tribunal, amendment of the constitution is not necessary. RC, Podgal versus Union of India, the admission or establishment of the new state. Conditions cannot be imposed, which is against the basic structure of the constitution. If you are new state, bana rahe ho, to aap us mein, you cannot put any conditions which are against the basic structure of the constitution. Now we have citizenship. Ab jo constitution mein citizenship ka chapter provided hai, that does not deal with it exhaustively. Article 11 jo hai, that tells ki parliament can make law related to that. And subsequently, uh, the Indian Citizenship Act 1955 came into the force, which deals exhaustively with the topic of citizenship. Now, this chapter, mein kya hume pata chalta hai? we just know that when the uh, constitution came into the force on that date, who were the citizens of India? All right. Now, we have Pradeep Jan versus Union of India, AIR 1984. Article 5 recognized the domicile of India. Sandur Gopal versus Sandur Rajini, domicile of choice. Mere acquisition of the other domicile is not sufficient. Clear intention to abandon the domicile of the origin. Intention ke sab kuch depend karta hai. Ab Bhanwaru Khan versus Union of India, those who had voluntarily migrated to Pakistan cannot claim the citizenship of India. The State Trading Corporation of India, company is not citizen, cannot claim fundamental rights which is conferred upon its citizens. Now see, there are fundamental rights ka jo chapter hai. There are certain fundamental rights which are exclusively for the citizens of India and there are certain fundamental rights which can be claimed by any person irrespective whether they are citizens or not. So, kya held wa that a company is not the citizen and it cannot claim the fundamental rights which are exclusively for the citizens of India. Now we have Tata Engineering. Company does not receive the protection of fundamental rights through shareholders. Godhra Electricity Company Limited versus State of Gujarat. The shareholder has rights to carry on business through the agency of company. R.C. Cooper versus Union of India. The state's action impairs the right of, of shareholder as well as that of company. The shareholders will be entitled to protection under Article 19. Now let's see the doctrine of eclipse. Very important concept for your main answer writing. Or interview maybe it can be asked. Or its most important case is Bhika Ji Kama versus State of Madhya Pradesh, 1955. It is the it was the first case which formulated the doctrine of eclipse. Doctrine of eclipse kya hota hai? It means there are certain laws which are inconsistent with the fundamental rights. Then they are eclipsed by those fundamental rights. Agar fundamental rights mein there are some changes in future, jiski wajah se those laws can be validated again. To wo fir se enforce aa jayenge. It means that law is not dead. It is just sleeping. Okay, so when eclipse hatega, when that shadow is removed, that will become alive again. Now we have Keshav Madhav Menon versus State of Bombay. The pre-constitutional laws exist for all the past acts, that is prior to the commencement of constitution. Sagi Rehmat versus State of Uttar Pradesh, AIR 1954. Doctrine of eclipse is only applicable to the pre-constitutional laws. State of Gujarat versus Ambika Mills. Post-constitutional laws which are inconsistent with the fundamental rights are not void in issue for all the purposes. RMDC versus Union of India. When after removing the invalid portion, what remains is a complete code. Then there is no necessity to declare the whole act void. Now suppose a law bana, there is certain portion which is not uh, which is violating the fundamental right. So if we remove that part, then what remains is a complete code in itself. So we don't have to declare the whole code invalid. We can only declare the part invalid. Now we have Kyuhoto Holhan versus 
जा चिल हूँ टेंथ स्केड्यूल माइनस पैरा सेवन रिमेन्स वैलिड एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल नाउ वी हैव रोमेश ठाकुर वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ मद्रास इफ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू सेपरेट द टू देन द होल लॉ इज टू बी स्ट्रक डाउन अगर कोई लॉ को हम सेपरेट नहीं कर सकते वैलिड और इनवैलिड पोर्शन को देन द होल लॉ हैज टू बी स्ट्रक डाउन नाउ वी हैव केशव आनंद भारती वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ केरला my favorite case law of all the times the power of judicial review the laws have been made in accordance with the articles of the constitution now further we have al chandra kumar versus union of india the power of judicial review is the basic structure of the constitution and it cannot be terminated now we have praveen kumar versus union of india 2020 ka case law hai quite the recent one judicial review is not analogous to venturing into the merits of the case like an appellate authority theek hai judicial review ka matlab appellate authority jaise deal karna nahi hota सारे गामा वर्सेस नेक्स्ट रेडियो 2022 का केस है जुडिशियल रिव्यू द कोर्ट में इवेल्युएट द वैलिडिटी ऑफ अ लेजिस्लेशन और रूल्स मेड अंडर इट कैन नॉट सप्लांट द टर्म्स ऑफ द प्रोविजन थ्रू जुडिशियल इंटरप्रिटेशंस ऑल राइट नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी हैव इज द कांसेप्ट ऑफ स्टेट अब स्टेट का कांसेप्ट जानना क्यों जरूरी है बिकॉज़ ऑल द फंडामेंटल राइट्स व्हिच आर प्रोवाइडेड टू अस आर एनफोर्सेबल अगेंस्ट द स्टेट ओनली ठीक है तो स्टेट क्या है इट इज डिफाइंड अंडर आर्टिकल 12 it says the parliament of the india secondly the state legislatures thirdly the local authorities and other authorities aap jitne bhi case laws hain that all are discussing what is this other authority theek hai to ye aapke uh, mains ka bhi questions hai aur aapke essay writing mein of course you can incorporate it university of madras versus shanta bai the other authorities exercising the governmental and the sovereign functions matlab wo authorities jo ki governmental aur sovereign functions karti hain wo aayenge other authorities mein फिर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बोर्ड वर्सेज राजस्थान द अदर अथॉरिटीज इंक्लूड ऑल अथॉरिटीज क्रिएटेड बाय द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन और द स्टैट्यूट ऑन होम द पावर इज कन्फर्ड बाय लॉ अब ये क्या कह रहे हैं द पावर शुड बी कन्फर्ड बाय लॉ ऑल्सो सी ये जो uh, इस तरह से विजुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन के थ्रू आपको पूरा दिस डॉक्यूमेंट इज प्रोवाइडेड यू कैन डाउनलोड दिस डॉक्यूमेंट फ्रॉम आर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप विच इज एट जॉब लॉ ऑफिशियल लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन यूज दिस डॉक्यूमेंट एज अ रेफरेंस ये कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के केस लॉस तो आपके पास आ ही गए अब इसके जैसे यू कैन मेक योर नोट फॉर द अदर सब्जेक्ट ऑल्सो बाई डूइंग दिस एक्सरसाइज यू विल बी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर योर फिल्म एज वेल एज फॉर योर मेन्स एंड वेन यू डू इट विद द विजुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन योर रिटेंशन पावर इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीज ओके So let's see the next case. So they are saying versus Bhagat Ram. If the functions of the corporation are of public importance, then it should be treated as agency or the instrumentality of the state. अब क्या word आ गया public importance. पहले था सिर्फ governmental and the sovereign function. The second में क्या हुआ that power is conferred by the law. And thirdly, public importance के काम कर रही हो अदर authority. तब हम उसको state कहेंगे. Now the next is Ajay Hasya versus Khalid Mujib. Society registered under Society's Registration Act, 1988. 1998 is an agency or instrumentality of the state hence a state riju prasad sharma 2015 ka case hai the courts while acting on a judicial side are not state theek hai ye bahut important hai but they may attract the trappings of the state when they act in administrative capacity to jab aap judicial exercise kar rahe hain tab you are not a state jab aap administrative functions koi kar rahe hain then you are a state Now we have Jigya Yadav 2021 का केस है CBSE is a state within the meaning of article 12 Naresh Yadav was a state of Maharashtra judiciary comes under the word state or not if the court is considered within the meaning of state a writ under article 32 cannot be issued to a high court against the judicial orders further we have uh, daya ram shetty versus international airport jahan par some test were provided where a body is an agency or the instrumentality of the government very important case law aapko apne mains ke answer mein ye zarur likhna hai ki kis tarah se the concept of state is uh, developing or it is ever developed ever developing ye abhi bhi develop ho raha hai theek hai functional character of the body is the governmental in essence the existence of deep and pervasive state control department of the government is transferred to the corporation the financial resources of the state is the chief funding source of the body the corporation enjoys the monopoly status which is state conferred or the state protected now we have mrs x versus registrar while exercising its function on the administrative side the high court would also be a state अब आपको तो शॉर्ट नोट में आ सकता है कि आप कोर्ट के ऊपर बताएं whether it is a state or not so jo bhi abhi tak humne case law discuss kare hain that can be written there now we have pushan majumdar indian association for the cultivation of science is a state ab ye bhi question aata hai with our prelims ka question hota hai ki cbsc state hai ki nahi ncert state hai ki nahi airport authority is a state or not and furthermore now we have ms gas authority 
the gale is a public sector undertaking and thus qualifies under the definition of state now we have fundamental rights the most important topic of the all the constitution theek hai aapko pata hai fundamental rights and the dpsp have the same sources ab jab uh, nehru report thi 1928 ki that contains certain fundamental rights jisme right to elementary education bhi included tha uske baad ek sapro report aayi aur uske baad jo bn rao the our constitutional advisor he also suggested कि जो फंडामेंटल राइट्स हैं दे शुड बी डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स वन विच कैन बी एनफोर्स एंड वच वन विच कैन नॉट बी एनफोर्स सो उन्होंने उनका जो रिकमेंडेशन था दैट वाज एक्सेप्टेड बाय द ड्राफ्टिंग कमेटी एंड एज अ रिजल्ट वी हैव द जस्टिशियबल फंडामेंटल राइट्स इन पार्ट थ्री एंड नॉन जस्टिशियबल विच कैन नॉट बी एनफोर्स बाय द कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ इन पार्ट फोर एज अ डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ द स्टेट पॉलिसी है ना इंटरेस्टिंग लेट्स सी दर्स्ट केस Maneka Gandhi versus Union of India the fundamental rights represent the basic values cherished by the people of India M Nagaraj versus Union of India the constitution has confirmed the existence of fundamental rights and give them protection Siddharam case fundamental rights is to preserve protect and certain basic human rights against the interference of the state now we have Basheshwar Nath uh, versus income tax the person cannot waive his fundamental rights state of Manipur versus Suraj Kumar a law passed by the legislature is good law till it is declared as unconstitutional by the competent court or till it is repealed now let's see the proportionality ki hum kis proportion mein fundamental rights ko amend kar sakte hain that is about the proportionality aur ye bhi aapke liye ek important concept hai first is anuradha basin versus union of india 2020 case a decision which curtails the fundamental rights without appropriate justification will be classified as disproportionate Anuradha Basin me further it was held the procedural justice cannot be sacrificed on the altar of the substantive justice K S Putta Swami was in Union of India very important case proportionality is an essential facet of the guarantee against the arbitrary state action now we have gujarat mazdoor sabha versus state of gujarat which discuss the principles of proportionality aur ye 2020 ka case law hai a state interfering with fundamental rights must be in pursuance of the legitimate state aim matlab aap amend kar rahe ho fundamental rights ko aap interfere kar rahe ho fundamental rights ke sath so you must have a legitimate state aim the state must provide the sufficient safeguard against the abuse of such interference must be based on the existence of rational connection between those measures and the object sought to be achieved the measures must be necessary to achieve the object and must not infringe the rights to an extent greater than the necessary to fulfill the aim theek hai to us kis extent tak aap infringe kar sakte ho only till it is necessary restrictions must not only serve the legitimate purpose they must also be necessary to protect them Further, we have Christian Medical College examining the reasonableness of a statutory provisions of the following factors: the directive principles of the state policy, a just balance has to be struck between the restrictions imposed and the social control. Restrictions must not be arbitrary or or of an excessive nature. Prevailing social values and the social needs which are intended to be satisfied by the restrictions, direct and proximate nexus or reasonable connection between the restrictions imposed and the objects sought to be achieved. Now we have right to equality. The state of West Bengal versus Anwar Ali Sarkar. The expression "equal protection of laws" is corollary to the expressions "equality before law." Indira Nehru Gandhi versus Raj Narayan. The rule of law embodied in the Article 14 is the basic feature of the Constitution, and it cannot be destroyed by the amendment. R K Garg versus Union of India. The Article 14 forbids the class legislation, but it does not prohibit the reasonable classification. ठीक है दोनों words में different है. difference is the between the class legislation and the reasonable classification state of west bengal versus anwar ali it is important to have the nexus between the basis of the classification and the object of the act right to equality right to equality aapko karna hai theek hai agar aap koi classification karte ho aur us classification ka kuch ek objective hona chahiye theek hai now we have chiranjit lal versus union of india the law may be constitutional even though it applies to a single individual on account of the special circumstances तो एक सिंगल इंडिविजुअल के लिए भी आप क्लास लेजिस्लेशन कर सकते हैं डी एस नकारा वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया द डॉक्टर ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन वॉज इवॉल्व इन ऑर्डर टू हेल्प द वीकर सेक्शन ऑफ द सोसाइटी ई पी रोयापा के इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केस लॉ आर्टिकल फोर्टीन स्ट्राइक्स एट द आर्बिट्रेरीनेस इन द स्टेट एक्शन एंड इंश्योर्स फेयरनेस एंड द इक्वालिटी ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट 
National Legal Services Authority versus Union of India, the members of the transgender community should be treated as third gender. Very important and landmark judgment. After this judgment, only the transgenders are treated as third genders now. You can see in your forms also male, female and others is written there. Now we have Mrs. X versus Registrar General. There is a presumption on the validity of the state action. And in that very case, it was held that the scope of judicial review is limited only to satisfy that the state action is not vitiated by the vice of arbitrariness. And our uh, Muthu Kumar versus chairman, there cannot be negative equality. Okay. Now we have Article 15. Article 15 is about the discrimination on the basis of uh, religion, race, caste, sex and place of birth. But Article 15 is the uh, article jiski se we have the special provisions for the women and children. Kati Raning Rawat versus state, when a law comes within the prohibition of Article 15, it cannot be validated by the recourse to Article 14. Now we have state of Madras versus Trump Kam Dorai Raja 1951 case, the important one. A government order by the Madras government was declared void because it classified the students on the basis of caste and religion. Okay, very important case law. So we have reservation ki baat karte hai, this is the case that we have to mention. Ashok Kumar Thakur versus Union of India 2008 ka case law hai. 93rd constitutional amendment, the Supreme Court upheld its constitutionality. Pramati educational, the classification of the unaided private educational institutions and aided private educational institution is not violative of Article 14. Balaji versus State of Mysore. The caste of a person cannot be the sole test for ascertaining whether a particular class is smart backward or not. Again, we have Malaji versus State of Mesur, the Article 16.4. Now, these are the case laws, uh, case laws for the Article 16, which is about the equal opportunity in the public employment. Article 16.4 provisions uh, only confers discretion to make the special provision for the backward classes of citizens. Now, we have TMA Pi Foundation. The state could not make reservations of the seats in privately run educational institutions and the higher educational institutions. State of Bihar versus Chandreshwar Pathak. Equality of opportunity means equality before the members of the same class of employees. Union of India versus Veer Singh, the caste criterion for the promotion is violative of Article 16.4 of the Constitution. BK Pavitra, 2019 ka case hai. The creamy layer has no application to grant of consequential seniority. So, jab aap reservation ke baat karte ho, to uh, kis tarah se wo develop ho raha hai, kya usme ab upcoming uh, decisions aa rahe hai, kya pehla decision ho, aur ab wo kis stage tak pahunch gaya hai. All this chain, all this chronology has to be written in your answer and has to be written in your essays when it is about the reservation. M. Nagraj versus Union of India 2007 ka case hai. Article 16.4a and 16.4b flow from the Article 16 and do not alter the basic structure of Article 16.4. And when you read this, you have to remember that because all the case laws are provided, the case is very big, so 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 that is provided to you. Now we have UP Power Corporation versus Rajesh Kumar. The state can make reservation laws under Article 16.4, 16.4a and 16.4b only on the basis of clear and certain factual foundations. Further, we have Indra Soni versus Union of India. It is also called the Mandal Commission case. The backward class, Kya Kya Heldua is a very, very important judgment. Backward class of citizen can be identified on the basis of caste and not on economic basis. Backward classes in Article 16.4 is not similar to socially and educationally backward in Article 15.4. Article 16.4 is not an exception to Article 16.1 and it is an instance of the classification. Article 16.4 permits the classification of the backward classes into the backward and more backward classes. The carry forward rule is valid provided it should not result in the breach of 50% rule. Struck down economic criterion for the reservation. Reservation under Article 16.4 cannot be made in promotions, creamy layer must be excluded from the backward classes, reservation shall not exceed 50%. See, when along with this video, when you are reading your docu this document, then there are more chances that you will finish this reading. Because when you are reading it, we leave the reading in the beach. And there are many important case laws that are skipped. So, you read this video and read the document. You will revise all the constitutional case laws for your prelims as well as your for means purposes. Now we have uh, Chebrolu Leela Prasad Rao versus others. 100% reservation of teachers belonging to the scheduled tribe category at school situated in scheduled area is constitutionally invalid. Okay, so you can't 100% reservation. Satyajit Kumar and others. 
making 100% reservation for the local resident of the concerned schedule area in the district is ultra virus to article 35 read with article 16 clause 3 of the constitution now we have mukesh kumar 2020 ka case law hai article 16.4 and 16.4 a do not confer fundamental right to claim reservations in promotions telangana judges association nativity for the public employment runs counter to the uh, fundamental right guaranteed under article 16 clause 2. dr jayshree lakshman rao patel chief minister 2021 ka case hai the supreme court struck down the maratha quota in excess of the 50% ceiling limit as unconstitutional ye bahut news mein bhi tha when this uh, case ka came out the state of punjab was the vendor not 2020 ka case a reservation was not contemplated for all the time by the framers of the constitution ki framers of the constitution ne hamesha ke liye reservation ka uh, provision nahi dala tha it was for a certain period of the time now the state of punjab was the vendor saying the ceiling limit of 50% the concept of creamy layer and the backwardness in adequacy of the representation and overall administrative efficiency are all constitutional requirements without which the structure of article 16 would collapse to theek hai sirf ek basis pe aapko reservation nahi dena hai it should be based on the uh, concept of creamy layer backwardness in adequacy of the representation and overall administrative efficiency theek hai to ye sabhi requirement must be fulfilled now we have pravakar malik versus state of orissa the collection of quantifiable data which can be tested by the courts is mandatory precondition for the grant of reservation in promotion with the consequential seniority under article 164 further we have uh, patali makkal case tamil nadu law providing 10.5% one year reservation quota is in violation of article 14 15 16 of the constitution Ch- uh, chebrolu leela prasad reservations are not anti meritorian Dr. Jay Sri Lakshman Rao, the Supreme Court struck down the Maratha quota in excess of 50% ceiling limit as unconstitutional. Sora Vyadha was a state of UP. The quota provided for the social groups are characterized as vertical reservations, which uh, while which are in favor of women, handicapped, uh, ex-servicemen, etc., are the horizontal reservations. The horizontal reservations should be calculated along with the vertical reservation quotas. They cannot be carried. forward theek hai to do type ke reservations hote hain horizontal reservations and the vertical uh, reservations now we have janhit abhiyan versus union of india the supreme court held that 103rd amendment and ews reservations are constitutionally valid and the supreme court observations were this is the very important case law it is about the ews reservations permitting the state to make the special provisions including reservations based on economic criteria it is not violative of the basic permitting the state to make the special provisions including reservations based on the economic criteria it is not violative of the basic structure the breach of 50% ceiling for the reservation does not result in violation of any essential feature of the constitution further excluding sebc obcs scs sts from the scope of ews reservation does not violate the equality code and does not cause damage to the constitution permitting the state to make the special provision for the admissions to private unaided institutions now we have article 17 and 18 the people's unions for the democratic right on the union of india asiat project workers case the right under article 17 is available against the private individual also now we have balaji raghavan very important the national awards would not amount to title within the article 18 now we have right to freedoms earlier jo ye article 19 mein aapko provided hai earlier right to property was also the fundamental right but after the 44th constitutional amendment it is just a constitutional right under article 308 now let's see the cases in dibli creative limited versus state of west bengal freedoms are recognized by the constitutions are not entrusted by state but are inseparable from the existence as human beings alakpuram case the rights guaranteed under article 19 are available to citizens agla case dekhte hain bennett coleman and company rights of shareholders with regard to article 19 1a were protected through the medium of corporations bc and gm versus union of india the writ petition filed by the company for the violation of fundamental rights under article 19 is maintainable Romesh Thapar case freedom of speech and the press lay at the foundation of the democratic uh, organization freedom of press pe bahut sare uh, essays ke questions aapko aate hain mains ke questions aate hain short notes mein bhi aapko aa sakta hai then you need to mention these case laws indian express newspaper the freedom of press means the freedom from the interference from authority bennett coleman order fixing the maximum number of pages which a newspaper can print is violation of the freedom of speech and expression ठीक है यू कैन नॉट फिक्स द नंबर ऑफ पेजेस व्हिच द न्यूज़पेपर कैन पब्लिश
एक्सप्रेस न्यूज पेपर द प्रेस इज नॉट इम्यून फ्रॉम द लॉ ऑफ टेक्सेशन एंड द इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेशन सकल पेपर का केस है द ऑर्डर इम्पोजिंग मिनिमम प्राइस एंड द नंबर ऑफ पेजेस वॉज हेल्स टू बी वॉयटिव ऑफ आर्टिकल नाइनटीन वन आर राजगोपाल वर्स स्टेट ऑफ तमिलनाडु द गवर्नमेंट हैज नो अथॉरिटी इन लॉ टू इम्पोज अ प्रायर रिस्ट्रेन अपॉन द पब्लिकेशन ऑफ द डेफिनेटरी मटीरियल देवीदास रामचंद्र का केस है द यूज ऑफ ऑप्सिन लैंग्वेज कैन नॉट बी अलाउड इन द नेम ऑफ आर्टिस्टिक फ्रीडम क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग और क्रिएटिविटी अंडर आर्टिकल नाइनटीन ए ठीक है आजकल हमारे वेब सीरीज में यू सी ऑप्सिन लैंग्वेज का बहुत भर भर के यूज हो रहा होता है नाउ वी हैव सोदन सिंह वर्सेज न्यू दिल्ली म्यूनसिपल कमेटी द हॉकर्स हैव द फंडामेंटल राइट्स टू कैरी ऑन ट्रेड ऑन पेवमेंट ऑफ रोड्स नाउ वी हैव खोदे डिस्टिलरीज अ सिटीजन हैज नो राइट टू कैरी ऑन ट्रेड और अ बिजनेस ऑन लिकर एज बेवरेज ये कोई आपका राइट नहीं है यू नीड टू सीक द स्पेशल लाइसेंस टू सर्व दैम ओके नाउ बी आर एंटरप्राइजेस लॉटरी कैन नॉट बी कंस्ट्रूड एज द ट्रेड एंड बिजनेस विद इन द मीनिंग ऑफ आर्टिकल नाइनटीन वन जी दमायंती वर्स इज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया द राइट टू फॉर्म एसोसिएशन नेसेसरली इम्प्लाइज दैट द पर्सन फॉर्मिंग द एसोसिएशन हैव ऑल्सो द राइट टू कंटिन्यू टू बी एसोसिएटेड विद ओनली दोज होम दे वॉलेंटरली एडमिट इन द एसोसिएशन ओम प्रकाश वर्स इज स्टेट ऑफ यूपी ban on sale of eggs within the municipal limits of the rishikesh is valid as it contains the reasonable restrictions right to freedom aur kya hai godavat pan masala products ban on pan masala and gutka under the age person is not violative of article 191g under 18 mazdoor kisan shakti sangathan right to protest is recognized as fundamental right under the constitution state of gujarat versus mirzapur ban on slaughter of cows and uh, calves and drought cattle is not violative of article 191g anuradha basin ka case hai indefinite suspension of the internet is not permissible and that repeated orders under article 144 crpc will amount to abuse of powers theek hai jahan pe bhi dange hote hain aap dekhte ho ki internet wahan suspend kar diya jata hai so it was held ki indefinite suspension nahi ho sakta theek hai thoda time ke liye aap kar do but it cannot be indefinite election commission of india versus mr vijay bhaskar freedom of speech and expression under article 191a extends to reporting judicial proceedings as well gujarat mazdoor sabha the concept of security of the state is narrower than the public order uh, ashat shifa versus state of karnataka recent case bahut hi important case hai it is about the hijab controversies the supreme court passed the split verdict on a batch of appeals against the Karnataka High Court challenging the restriction on the Muslim girl students wearing hijab in educational institutions in Karnataka to theek hai isme supreme court ne split verdict diya two judge bench tha split verdict aaya to ultimately hum kisi bhi position pe nahi pahunche now this case would be referred to the larger bench anuradha basi freedom of speech and expression through the medium of internet is an integral part of 191a and any restriction on the same must be in accordance with the article 192 of the constitution now we have amit sahni shahin bagh case holding meeting by blocking the public place or road in a protest against the particular legislation for indefinite period is not democratic aap dharna dijiye aap sab kijiye but aap koi public place ki road koi pe ya fir koi public place pe indefinite period ke liye nahi baith sakte theek hai kani swatima ka case hai the demonstrations expressing dissent have to be in the designated places alone the right to protest cannot be any time and everywhere ठीक है प्रोटेस्ट करने के लिए भी एक पर्टिकुलर प्लेसेस होती हैं वहीं पर ही आपको प्रोटेस्ट करना होता है जैसे कि दिल्ली में यहाँ जंतर मंतर है मोहम्मद सलीम उल्ला केस द राइट नॉट टू बी डिपोर्टेड इज एंजुलरी टू द फंडामेंटल राइट टू रिसाइड और सेटल इन एनी पार्ट ऑफ द इंडिया अमीश देवकिन का केस है नाइनटीन वन ए ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कैन नॉट बी प्रेजेंट टू द सर्विस फॉर डिफीटिंग द फंडामेंटल राइट गारंटीड बाई आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन नाउ वी हैव इंडियन स्कूल जोधपुर वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ राजस्थान the regulation of profiteering by education institutions cannot be held to be violative uh, to right to trade and profession under article 191g of the constitution further we have kaushal kishore versus state of ut a fundamental right under article 19 and 21 can be enforced even against the person other than the state theek okay? hai state is under duty to affirmatively protect the rights of a person under article 21 the grounds lined up in article 192 for restricting the right of free speech are exhaustive discussed in vertical and horizontal approach to fundamental rights the statement made by the minister cannot be attributed vicariously to the government by invoking the principle of collective responsibility matlab ek minister ne koi statement de di to hum ye nahi keh sakte ki put the whole government will be liable for that theek hai by invoking the principle of collective responsibility ab article 20 very important article iske teen clauses hote hain first is ex post facto laws dekhte hain t barai versus henry h ho accused can take advantage of beneficial provisions under ex post facto laws 
एक्स पोस्ट फैक्टोर्स लॉस का क्या मतलब है कि अगर कोई एक्ट जो मैं आज कर रही हूँ अगर वो आज ऑफेंस नहीं है और अगर कल को ऑफेंस होता है तो आई वोट बी हेल्ड लाइबल बट अगर मैंने आज कोई एक्ट करा आगे मुझे उसका कोई बेनिफिट मिलने वाला है तो आई कैन क्लेम दैट बेनिफिट ठीक है अब जैसे कि uh, 2013 अमेंडमेंट्स में एज ऑफ कंसेंट फॉर द रेप वाज 16 से 18 कर दी गई पर अगर किसी ने पहले उससे ही अगर ये ऑफेंस करा है और एज ऑफ कंसेंट और कंसेंट थी ऑफ अ गर्ल हु वाज 17 इयर्स ऑफ द एज देन दैट पर्सन कैन नॉट बी हेल्ड लाइबल आफ्टर टू फॉर द रेप ठीक है Now we have government of Andhra Pradesh versus Gandhi. If ex post facto law is ameliorative, then it may be retrospective. R K Dalmia versus State Delhi Administration. A person is said to be accused if the formal accusation relating to the commission on offence has been levelled. M P Sharma versus Satish Chandra. A person whose name is mentioned in the F I R as an accused could claim the protection under Article Twenty. Now we have Nandini Satpati. The protection of Article Twenty Three is available from the stage of पुलिस इंटेरोगेशन सेल्वी वर्स स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका लाई डिटेक्टर टेस्ट शुड बी एडमिनिस्टर्ड ओनली विद द कंसेंट ऑफ एक्यूज नो एम पी शर्मा वर्स सतीश चंद्र आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी क्लॉज थ्री हैज फॉलोइंग थ्री एसेंशियल्स द पर्सन मस्ट बी एक्यूज ऑफ द ऑफेंस प्रोटेक्शन अगेंस्ट द कंपल्शन टू बी विटनेस प्रोटेक्शन इज अगेंस्ट द कंपल्शन टू गिव एविडेंस अगेंस्ट हिमसेल्फ द स्टेट ऑफ बॉम्बे वर्सेज काठी कालू सेल्फ इंक्रिमिनेशन ठीक है अब ट्वेंटी क्लॉस टू वॉज अबाउट द डबल जियो पार्टी एंड ट्वेंटी क्लॉस थ्री इज अबाउट द सेल्फ इंक्रिमिनेशन द ओनली मीन कन्वेइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन बेस्ड ऑन द पर्सनल नॉलेज ऑफ द पर्सन एंड इट कैन नॉट इंक्लूड द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग डॉक्यूमेंट और गिविंग फिंगर एक्सप्रेशन इंप्रेशन और द्लड सैम्पल्स एक्सेट्रा नाउ वी हैव राइट टू लाइफ एंड लिबर्टी आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन का इंटेंशन था टू बी रेजिडल सेक्शन एक नेगेटिव टाइप का राइट था बट कोर्ट जो सुप्रीम कोर्ट्स हैं और जो भी हमारे बाकी के कोर्ट्स हैं बाय एक्सरसाइजिंग द जुडिशियल एक्टिविज्म उन्होंने इस इनको इस आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन को द मोस्ट चेरिश्ड राइट बना दिया एवरी राइट व्हिच इज नॉट रिटर्न एनी वेयर एज राइट टू स्लीप राइट टू हैव प्राइवेसी राइट टू हैव क्लीन एनवायरमेंट एंड एवरी इज इंक्लूडेड इन दिस वेरी आर्टिकल और ये आपके प्रेजेंस में क्वेश्चन आते हैं कि ये वाला राइट कौन से आर्टिकल में है किस आर्टिकल के अंडर ये हेल्ड किया गया तो दिस ऑल द केस लॉज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर दैट एंड ऑफकोर्स इसमें से क्वेश्चन आपके मेन्स में भी आता है और ऐसे राइटिंग में भी आता है नॉ वी हैव ए के गोपाल एन वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ए के गोपाल एन एंड मैंने कहा दी द प्रोसीजर इस्टेब्लिश बाई लॉ डज नॉट मीन ड्यू प्रोसेस ऑफ लॉ अब इस केस में ये हेल्ड हुआ और इस केस को ओवर रूल करा मनिका गांधी ने इसमें हेल्ड हुआ द प्रोसीजर इस्टेब्लिश बाई लॉ शुड बी जस्ट फेयर रीजनेबल लॉ मीन्स हैविंग एलिमेंट्स ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ नेचुरल जस्टिस ठीक है इन्होंने बोला बस प्रोसीजर होना चाहिए चाहे वो फेयर है जस्ट है कि नहीं है ये हमको नहीं देखना बट मनिका गांधी ने कहा नहीं हमें ये देखना पड़ेगा लॉ का मतलब है कि इट शुड हैव द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ नेचुरल जस्टिस Now we have Francis Corali. Right to live is not limited to mere animal existence. ठीक है Indian Hotel versus Restaurant. There cannot be a total prohibition on the dance bars in Maharashtra. Justice K S Putta Swami, very important case law. The right to privacy is fundamental right and it is protected under Article Twenty One. जस्टिस के एस पुट्टा स्वामी अगेन द आधार इज हेल्ड टू बी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल जोसेफ शाइन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केस लॉ नवतेज सिंह जोहर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केस लॉ Offence of adultery was held unconstitutional in Joseph Shine. Now, Tej Singh Johar me Article three seventy seven of Indian Penal Code unconstitutional in so far as it criminalizes the homosexual acts between the consenting adults. Further, People's Union for the Democratic Rights non-payment of the minimum wages is violation of Article twenty one. Olga Telles ka case hai the right to life include the right to livelihood also. Chamili Singh was a state of UP. Right to shelter is a fundamental right under Article Twenty One. So Chitra Shrivastav, right to make reproductive choices included under Article Twenty One, very important. Paramanand Katara versus Union of India, the right to health. All the doctors are obliged to extend medical assistance. Ram Lila Medan, the right to sleep is a fundamental right. Jolly George, arrest and detention of the honest judgment debtor in absence of willful failure to pay is violative of Article Twenty One. Neeraja Chaudhary was a state of MP. Bonded labour should be identified and rehabilitated. Further, we have Gyan Kaur's case, very important about the right to life. Right to life के ऊपर एक अलग से ही question आ जाता है, ठीक है? Right to life does not include right to die. Anu uh, Aruna Shonbok का case है. In certain cases, the passive euthanasia is allowed. Then we have National Legal Services Authority versus Union of India. The self determination of gender is a part of personal liberty. Bachpan Bachao Andolan. The sexual, physical, and emotional abuse of a children is violation of Article Twenty One. M H has court right to free legal aid. Who say Narakhatun right to speedy trial? Nirmal Singh 
uh, right a uh, fair trial includes fair investigation sunil batra keeping under trials with convicts in jail offends article 21 prem shankar case right against handcuffing kishore singh the third degree method by police is violative of article 21 मुरलीएस दोहरा बैन ऑन स्मोकिंग ऑन पब्लिक प्लेसेस जैसे मैंने कहा जो राइट्स कहीं नहीं लिखे हुए वो सभी आर्टिकल 21 में इंक्लूड कर दिए गए अटॉर्नी जनरल ऑफ इंडिया और अभी और भी केसेस आ रहे हैं जिसमें इंक्लूड करते ही जाएंगे तो दिस इज अभी भी ये डेवलप हो ही रहा है ये वाला लॉ द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ डेथ सेंटेंस बाय द पब्लिक हैंगिंग इज वायोलेटिव ऑफ आर्टिकल 21 दीना वर्सेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया हैंगिंग बाय रोप डज नॉट वायोलेट द आर्टिकल 21 पीवी वाथी सिवरन delay in execution of death sentence is violative of article 21 meela bati bebra custodial torture or death compensation to family of deceased who died in police custody bk basu versus west bengal guidelines to be followed in case of arrest and detention jogender kumar the guidelines regarding the arrest of the person rudal shah the compensation for the violation of article 21 vishakha versus state of rajasthan the prevention of sexual harassment of the working women in workplace we have the law also regarding this MC Mehta versus Union of India the right to clean environment Mohini Jain the right to education at all levels is the fundamental rights Unni Krishnan the right to education is the fundamental right flowing from article 21 State of Tamil Nadu versus K Sham Sundar have quality education without discrimination Deepika saying a woman cannot be declined maternity leave with respect to her biological child AK Roy the guidelines for the arrest under preventive detention law the family members of the detainee should be informed detained in the place where he habitually resides entitled to books writing materials and own food and visits kept separate from those who are convicted treatment of the punitive character should not be meted out to him all right now further we have mazdoor kisan shakti sangathan if there is a conflict of two rights then the test of larger public interest is required दो राइट्स में अगर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट है तो जहां पर लार्जर पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट होगा उस तरफ ये लीन करेगा नौ के एस पुट्टा स्वामी द राइट टू प्राइवेसी एज अ फंडामेंटल राइट इज नॉट लिमिटेड टू आर्टिकल 21 एमसी मेहता वर्सेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया राइट टू लाइफ इंक्लूड्स अ राइट टू डिसेंट एनवायरमेंट यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया वर्सेस ओमकार नाथ राइट टू शेल्टर डज नॉट मीन राइट टू गवर्नमेंट अकोमोडेशन एस अमुता वर्सेस स्टेट ऑफ तमिल गवर्नमेंट ऑफ तमिलनाडु प्रिवेंटिव डिटेंशन ऑर्डर इज लायबल टू बी कॉस्ड इफ डिटेन्यूज रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज कंसीडर्ड आफ्टर लॉन्ग डिले लक्ष्मी बाई चंद्र राज राइट टू मैरी अ पर्सन ऑफ वन चॉइस इज इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन कई बार ये प्रोलम्स के एमसीक्यूज में आया हुआ है ठीक है राइट टू मैरी आप अपनी मर्जी के इंसान से शादी कर सकते हैं दिस इज योर राइट अंडर आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन भोला कुमार वर्ज स्टेट ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ वेन ए कन्वेक्ट इज डिटेन बियॉन्ड दी एक्चुअल रिलीज डेट इट वॉयलेट्स नॉट ओनली आर्टिकल नाइनटीन डी बट ऑल्सो आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन मोहम्मद लातीफ मांगरे right to dignity and the fair treatment under article 21 is not only available to living man but also to his body after the death theek hai to dignity continues after the death also now we have right against exploitation the people's union for the democratic right the less minimum wages also amount to forced labor minimum wages se agar aap kam wage kisi ko de rahe ho to that amounts to forced labor deena versus union of india labor taken from the prisoners without paying proper remuneration is violative of article 23 people's union for the democratic rights employment of a children in a construction industry amounts to violation of article 24 mc mehta children below the age of 14 years cannot be employed in any hazardous industries now right to freedom of religion very important topic ab jo india ka religion hai that is secularism theek hai aur jo india ka secularism hai that is one of its kind hamara jo secularism hai that is about serve dharm sambhav इसका क्या मतलब हुआ कि द स्टेट वो किसी भी धर्म को प्रमोट नहीं करेगी किसी भी धर्म के अगेंस्ट नहीं होगी स्टेट का हमारे यूनियन का कोई रिलीजन नहीं होगा ठीक है बट वो सबको समभाव से देखेगी एवरी रिलीजन वुड बी व्यूड इन अ सिमिलर वे इन अ सेम वे ठीक है ये है हमारे इंडिया का सेक्युलरिज्म एस आर बोमई में क्या हेल्ड हुआ था दैट द सेक्युलरिज्म इज अ बेसिक फीचर ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अरुणा रॉय द स्टडी ऑफ रिलीजन इन द स्कूल इज नॉट अगेंस्ट द सेक्युलर फिलोसफी इसमाइल फारूकी वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया offer of prayer or worship is a religious practice church of god the religious prayers through loud speakers are not an essential element of any religion theek hai to use of loud speaker is not an essential element you can pray to god even without the loud speakers sp mittal versus union of india the religious denomination must satisfy what the collection of individuals who have the system of beliefs common organization designated by the distinctive name no indian young lawyer association it is also known as sabrimala temple case very important judgment 
द राइट टू फ्रीडम ऑफ रिलीजन इज नॉट एब्सोल्यूट एंड मस्ट बी हार्मोनाइज अब जब आप पे राइट टू रिलीजन के ऊपर कोई क्वेश्चन uh, आता है या फिर कोई ऐसे आता है तो जब आप रिसेंट केस लॉज लिखते हो ना तो एग्जामिनर रियली गेट्स इंप्रेस्ड बाय दैट दैट यू आर वेरी वेल अपडेटेड नाउ वी हैव कल्चरल एंड एजुकेशनल राइट्स फ्रैंक एंथनी पब्लिक स्कूल एम्प्लॉयज इन आइडिया ऑफ गिविंग स्पेशल राइट टू माइनॉरिटीज इज टू गिव दम दी सेंस ऑफ सिक्योरिटी एंड कॉन्फिडेंस नाउ इस्लामिक अकेडमी ऑफ एजुकेशन वर्स स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटका Education institutions can have their own fee structure, but no profiteering and capitation fees. Ram Charan Maurya, Maurya, and others, right to education would envisage quality education being imparted. S K M D Rafiq, no absolute and unqualified right of appointment for minority educational institutions. मतलब कोई absolute right नहीं है. Christian Medical College, it is not an absolute right and it is not free of regulation from the state. ठीक है एब्सोल्यूट राइट नहीं है मतलब इसका मतलब ये बिल्कुल नहीं है कि स्टेट आपको रेगुलेट नहीं कर सकता स्टेट कैन रेगुलेट फॉर योर बेटरमेंट इन रे केरला एजुकेशन बिल स्टेट कैन प्रिस्क्राइब रेगुलेशन टू एंश्योर द एक्सेलेंस ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूशन अहमदाबाद सेंट जेवियर स्कूल कॉलेज इट इज नॉट रीजनेबल टू क्लेम दैट माइनॉरिटी इंस्टीट्यूशन विल हैव कम्प्लीट ऑटोनॉमी सेंट स्टीफन कॉलेज वर्सेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली सो लॉन्ग एज द बेसिक राइट ऑफ द माइनॉरिटीज टू मैनेज द एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन इज नॉट टेकन अवे द स्टेट इज कॉम्पिटेंट टू मेक द रेगुलेटरी लेजिस्लेशन Now we have TMA Pi Foundations, the important case. This means there were certain guidelines which were laid down by the Supreme Court. The first one is the state is the to determine the linguistic as well as the religious minorities. Secondly, the institutes which receive aid could be subject to government rules and regulations. Unaided institutions only regulations regarding the qualifications and the minimum conditions of the eligibility, conditions of the recognition and the affiliation. may have its own procedure and the methods of the admission admit a reasonable number of non minority students now we have right to constitutional remedies see rights without remedies are just empty words hame jab fundamental rights provide kar diye gaye ab jo hame rights provide kiye gaye hain to agar koi unhe violate kare to we must have the remedy against them to agar hame koi remedy nahi hoti to they were just the uh, empty words which have no meaning right so isliye this right to constitutional remedies is provided Now, first case is uh, Ramesh Thapar versus State of Madras. The Supreme Court is the protector and the guarantor of the fundamental rights. So, when our fundamental rights are violated, then we go to Article 32 to our protector and guarantor. Ke paas ja sakte hai, that is, we can go to the Supreme Court. Ke paas ja sakte hai. Prem Chand Garg versus Excise Commissioner. The right to move Supreme Court cannot be described as cornerstone of the democratic edifice raised by the Constitution. The Rayo versus State of UP. when the matter has been heard and decided under article 226 the writ under article 32 is barred by the principle of res judicata rupa ashok hura the court will allow the curative petition to seek the second review of the final order a curative petition ka jo concept hai that was propounded by this case only rupa ashok hura versus ashok hura kya hote curative petition as the name itself suggest to cure ab koi uh, judgment mein agar kuch uh, kuch cure chahiye to hum uske liye curative petition dal sakte hain theek hai मतलब सेकंड रिव्यू ऑफ द फाइनल ऑर्डर एबीएस के संघ एक्सेस टू जस्टिस थ्रू द क्लास एक्शन पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट लिटिगेशन और द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव प्रोसीडिंग्स एसपी गुप्ता एनी मेंबर ऑफ द पब्लिक और द सोशल ग्रुप एक्टिंग बोनाफाइड कुड इनवोक द रिट ज्यूरिस्टिक्शन एल चंद्र कुमार का केस है जो ज्यूरिस्टिक्शन ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट अंडर आर्टिकल 226 एंड द सुप्रीम कोर्ट अंडर आर्टिकल 32 is the basic structure of the constitution matlab ye wala right aap supreme court se aur high court se nahi chhin sakte jab hamare citizens ke paas ya fir any person who is in india agar uske paas koi fundamental rights nahi honge then what is the use of the whole constitution so that is why rights hai hamare paas koi violate karega we can go to the supreme court under article 32 we can go to the high court under article 226 aur in dono articles ko aap amend nahi kar sakte because they are the basic structure of the constitution now shrimant mala saheb patel the jurisdiction conferred on the supreme court by article 32 is an important and integral part of the basic structure now we have ramesh sanka versus union of india the writ under article 32 is not maintainable for the enforcement of the personal contractual rights now state of uttaranchal versus balwant shuffle direction in order to maintain the sanctity of the public interest litigations theek hai jo pils hote hain zyada tar kai lawyers bas aise hi apna naam karne ke liye dal dete hain to kya held kya 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 guidelines the supreme court ne the courts must encourage the genuine and bona fide pil and discourage pils filed for the extraneous considerations theek hai this is what i was talking about the courts should the prime officer verify the credential of the petitioner courts should be prima facie satisfied regarding the correctness of the content of the petition it should ensure that the pil involves the greater public interest the court should ensure that there is no personal gain 
the court should ensure that the petition filed for the extraneous consideration and ulterior motives must be discouraged by imposing exemplary costs because court ka time waste hota hai waise itne sare pending case laws hai uske upar aap sirf uh, aise case laws le aao jinka koi uh, वेटेज ही नहीं है तो फिर इट इज वेस्टिंग दी कोर्ट्स टाइम दैट इज वाई इट मस्ट बी डिस्करेज बाई इम्पोजिंग द एक्सेंटरी कॉस्ट नाउ वी हैव डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल ये नॉन जस्टिशियबल होते हैं एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर बट दे आर द फंडामेंटल फॉर दी गवर्नेंस ऑफ द स्टेट स्टेट को ये सब अपने गवर्नेंस uh, में इंक्लूड करना चाहिए रणधीर सिंह बट अगर इंक्लूड नहीं करा है तो आप कोर्ट के पास नहीं जा सकते कि ये इंक्लूड नहीं कर रहे हैं क्योंकि दीज आर नॉन जस्टिशियबल रणधीर सिंह बस इज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया equal pay for equal work is not a fundamental right but since it is a constitutional goal it can be enforced through article 32 in re kerala education bill court may adopt a principle of harmonious construction theek okay? hai state of madras versus tampkam dorai rajan in case of conflict between the fundamental rights and dpsps the fundamental rights would prevail keshwanand bharti fundamental rights and directive principles can be interpreted and applied together minerva mills versus union of india giving absolute primacy to the directive principles disturb the harmony of the constitution now we have executive hum aapko pata hai ki jo president hota hai that is the constitutional head but jo real executive powers hoti hain that vests with the council of ministers let's see the cases you and now versus indira gandhi the president cannot exercise the executive power without the aid and advice of the council of ministers theek hai Ram Jawaya Kapoor the president has been made the constitutional head of the executive and the real executive powers are vested in the council of ministers Har Govind versus Raghukul the office of the governor of the state is not under the control of or the subordinate to the uh, central government BP Singhal the governors cannot be dismissed arbitrarily Rameshwar Prasad versus Union of India 2006 the governor could exercise his discretionary powers only when there is a compelling necessity S.P. Anand versus Devagoda, Article 75.5 permits the president to appoint a person who is not the member of either house of the parliament. Shamsher Singh versus State of Punjab. Whenever the constitution requires the satisfaction of the president or the governor, it means the satisfaction of the council of ministers. Okay, so it is not only the satisfaction of president or the governor, but it only if it is the satisfaction of council of ministers, so the president or governor ke satisfaction mani li jayegi. Now we have U.N. Rao versus Indira Gandhi. Article seventeen four one is mandatory. The president cannot exercise the executive power without the aid and advice of the Council of Ministers. Now we have Kehar Singh versus Union of India. The pardon is an act of grace and cannot be demanded uh, demanded as the matter of right. ठीक है ये आपके ऊपर दया है ये आपका right नहीं है. Apro Sudhakar, the pardon power is open to judicial review. Kehar Singh, the petitioner for mercy has no right to oral hearing by the president. Shatrughan Chauhan, the inordinate delay in the rejection of mercy petition amounts to torture. ठीक है भाई इधर करो या आर करो या पार करो या तो reject ही कर दो या accept कर लो. But हमको एक dilemma में मत रखो कि आप accept करोगे या delay उसको neglect कर दोगे. Rameshwar Prasad versus others, immunity granted by Article 361 does not take away the power to examine the validity of the action. Shivraj Singh Chauhan versus MP Legislative Assembly, the discretion by the governor to call for the floor test is not immune from the judicial review. Apro Sudhakar versus government, the pardoning power of the president under Article 72 and governor under Article 161 are subject to judicial review. Shivraj Singh Chauhan was a speaker. The governor can call for the floor test when there are reasonable grounds to believe that the government has lost the confidence of the house. Ab legislature pe aate hain. In Ray Keshav Singh, Article 194 and 105 are subject to fundamental rights guaranteed under Article 21 and 22. SP Anand versus Devagoda a person who is not the member of either house can be appointed by the prime minister for 6 months Lily Thomas versus Union of India the convicted members of the parliament will be immediately disqualified from holding membership RK Garg ka case hai the power to promulgate an ordinance is coextensive with the power of parliament to make laws theek hai ye word yaad rakhna it is coextensive B R Kapoor versus Tamil Nadu. A non-member who does not possess the qualification prescribed by uh, cannot be appointed as chief minister. The scope of protection, P V Narasimha Rao. The scope of protection of the immunity is available to them against all the actions and the criminal proceedings. Now we have Kesham Meghna Chandra Singh. The Speaker of Legislative Assembly could decide a petition seeking the disqualification within the period of three months. Okay, in the absence of the exceptional reasons. DC Vadhva the successive repromulgation of ordinances would amount to fraud on constitution and the ordinance so repromulgated is liable to be struck down ye nahi ki aap bar bar ordinances hi pass kiye ja rahe ho 
ठीक है दैट इज अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल नाउ विजया बच्चन वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया इसमें डिस्कस किया वॉट इज एन ऑफिस ऑफ प्रॉफिट इट इज एन ऑफिस विच इज केपेबल ऑफ यील्डिंग अ प्रॉफिट और अ पिक्यूनरी गेन श्रीमंत बाला साहेब पाटिल द स्पीकर डज नॉट हैव एनी एक्सप्लिसिट पावर टू स्पेसिफाई द पीरियड ऑफ डिसक्वालिफिकेशन अंडर टेंथ स्केड्यूल नाउ द जुडिशरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन सी अब जुडिशरी में जो ज्यादातर केसेस है ना दैट इज अबाउट द अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ द जजेस की कंसल्टेशन का क्या मतलब होता है वेदर द कंसल्टेशन मीन्स द कॉन्फ्रेंसेज हम इसमें यह भी देखेंगे कि हाउ कोलेजियम सिस्टम को हटाने की कब कोशिश करी गई एन जी एस सी वॉज डिक्लेयर अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल सो लेट सी द केसेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया वर्सेज अंकल चंद सेट द कंसल्टेशन मीन्स फुल एंड इफेक्टिव कंसल्टेशन ठीक है अब एस पी गुप्ता वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया इसको हम फर्स्ट जजेस केस भी कहते हैं इसमें यह हेल्ड हुआ था एग्जीक्यूटिव हैड सुप्रीमेसी इन अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ जजेस इसमें यह हेल्ड हुआ कि एग्जीक्यूटिव की सुप्रीमेसी है नाउ एस सी एडवोकेट्स ऑन रिकॉर्ड एसोसिएशन ऑल्सो नोन एज सेकेंड जजेस केस इसमें हेल्ड हुआ कि इन द मैटर्स ऑफ अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ द जजेस ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड हाई कोर्ट द सी जे आई शुड हैव द सुप्रीमेसी तो यहाँ था एग्जीक्यूटिव यहाँ हो गए सी जे आई अब इन रे प्रेजिडेंशियल इसको बोलते हैं थर्ड जजेस केस भी द कंसल्टेशन प्रोसेस अडॉप्टेड बाई सी जे आई रिक्वायर्स कंसल्टेशन ऑफ द प्लूरलिटी ऑफ जजेस सिर्फ सी जे आई नहीं सी जे आई के अलावा द फोर सीनियर मोस्ट जजेस की भी कंसल्टेशन होनी चाहिए अब इन रे केरला एजुकेशन बिल द कोर्ट इज नॉट बाउंड टू आंसर अ रेफरेंस मेड टू इट बाई दी प्रेसिडेंट राजेश्वर सिंह जूरिस्डिक्शन ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट अंडर आर्टिकल वन ट्वेंटी नाइन इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द प्रोविजन ऑफ द कंटेंट ऑफ कोर्ट एक्ट ठीक है सुप्रीम कोर्ट एडवोकेट ऑन रिकॉर्ड यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज द केस वेर नाइनटी नाइन्थ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एज वेल एज द एन जे ए सी एक्ट वॉज डिक्लेयर अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एंड वाइड कि हम तो अपॉइंटमेंट कोलिजियम सिस्टम से ही करेंगे ठीक है बंगाल इम्यूनिटी सुप्रीम कोर्ट कैन डिपार्ट फ्रॉम इट्स प्रीवियस डिसीजन the expressions all the courts within the territory of india means the courts except the supreme court the so, supreme court ne jo decision diya hai to uske below jo bhi courts hain high courts and further the lower courts they are all bound by the decision of the supreme court par supreme court khud apne decision ko leke bind hai kya nahi wo apne decision ko change kar sakta hai now the delhi judicial uh, services association the article 129 of the supreme court has power to punish a person for the contempt of itself the state of jharkhand versus surendra kumar writ petition under article 227 challenging the judicial orders are maintainable but not under article 226 rajendra diwan versus pradeep kumar the state legislature cannot enact law which affects the jurisdiction of the supreme court rajeshwar prasad versus state of bihar an appeal may be reversed by the supreme court while exercising the jurisdiction under article 136 of the constitution anil kumar no authority can claim a privilege not to comply with its judgment Rupa Shokhera the curative petition can be filed seeking review of a decision which has become final now kunaya ahmed and others while hearing the petition for the slp uh, special leave to appeal the court is not exercising its appellate jurisdiction it is merely exercising its discretionary jurisdiction so special leave to appeal grant karna hai ya nahi this is not the appellate jurisdiction this is just the discretionary jurisdiction whether to grant or not to grant the leave to appeal Satish Chandra versus Union of India the wide discretionary power is invested under article 136 is to be exercised sparingly and in exceptional cases only we have plr projects the cra should proceed to make appointments immediately after the supreme court collegium has cleared the names to so, jaise hi unhone name clear kare to central government ko jaldi se jaldi unke appointments karne chahiye m siddiqui the entire disputed land of 2.77 acres in ayodhya must be handed over for the construction of the ram mandir antaru uh, rajivaru the supreme court can refer the questions of law to a larger bench while exercising its review jurisdiction theek hai larger bench ke liye aap review jurisdiction ke liye case de sakte ho dheeraj mohan versus honorable high court of delhi the civil judges are not eligible to seek the direct recruitment to the post of the district judge in barkota vidya devi case the condonation of delay is a matter of judicial discretion which must be exercised judicially state versus kalyan singh article 142 gives a very wide power to do the complete justice to the parties before the court sunil rathi the supreme court while exercising the jurisdiction under article 139a must be satisfied that such questions are the substantial questions of the general importance union of india versus uh, mv mohan nair article 141 is essentially a principle laid down by the court and has the effect of the precedent theek hai such principle must be delivered only after the consideration of the matters of merits it can never be in a summary manner moving further with the balakrishna ram versus union of india the principle that the high court should not exercise its extraordinary writ jurisdiction when an efficacious alternative remedy is available is a rule of prudence and not a rule of law iv disa 
IV CEDA. The power of judicial review under Article 226 is available to go into the question whether the action of an aided educational institution is transparent and fair. Now, Neela Manmohan Atabar, the writ petition would not be maintainable in order to challenge an order passed by the High Court in the exercise of the judicial powers. Government Craft v. Prakash Chandra Goyal, the supervisory jurisdiction under Article 227 is not to correct the legal flaw when the legal finding is justified or can be supported. Now, we have legislative relations. Okay. Legis uh, legislative relations may Sara hai, Dr. Nopetan Substance, Dr. of Colorable Legislations, he seventh schedule may jo three list hai, kaun kis area pe law banayega, kya hoga, agar uh, same area pe state or union dono ne law bana liya, to kya prevail karega, or state kab uh, apne uh, territorial jurisdiction se baar ke liye bhi law bana sakta hai, to ye sab cheeze in case laws mein uh, discuss kari gai hai, let's see there. A.H. Vadia versus Commissioner, the state legislature cannot make extraterritorial laws except when there is sufficient connection between the state and the subject matter of the legislation. So, a sufficient connection is necessary. Praful Kumar versus Bank of Commerce, in ascertaining the pith and substance of the act, the court must consider the object of the act, scope of the act and effect as the whole. Javed was the state of Haryana. The Supreme Court held that the constitution gives autonomy to the center and the states within their respective fields. R.D. Joshi, the Supreme Court held that the entries in the list must be given wide meaning, implying the ancillary and incidental powers. State of Bombay versus F.N. Balsara, the court held that the Bombay Prohibition Act as valid because pith and substance of the act fell in the state list. Now, the seventh schedule has three lists provided hai. union list, state list, and the conference list. Union list may parliament law, bana sakti hai. state list may state legislature law, bana sakta hai. and the concurrent list has two law. Bana sakte hai. And in the three list, mein hai, that is residuary, which is in the area, or in the upcoming areas, which is in the upcoming area, which parliament ki law. Banata hai. Now we have GVK Industries, very important case. Any law enacted by the parliament with respect to extraterritorial aspects would be ultra vires to the articles of the constitution. The state of Bombay versus RMDC, the Supreme Court held that the extraterritorial legislation can be upheld only when there is sufficient nexus between the object sought to be achieved and the state seeking to achieve them. Okay. KCJ Narayan Dev, colorable legislation means that the, legislative leg, uh, that the legislature passing the statute purported to act within the limits of the powers yet in substance is transgressed these powers. Now further we have Javed was a state of Haryana. A legislation of one state cannot be held to be discriminatory because the parliament or the state legislature of other states have not chosen to enact the similar laws. KC Gajapati Narayan Dev, the doctrine of colorable legislation has reference to the competence and not to the motives, bona fides or the malafides of the legislature. Secretary Kerala Irrigation, when the legislative competence of a state legislature is questioned, the doctrine of pith and substance has to be applied. Now, state of Rajasthan versus uh, Ashok Khitolia, the Constitution 74th Amendment Act does not take away any legislative competence of the state legislature to legislate on the subject of the local government. Now we have freedom of trade and commerce. Atiyabari Tea Company versus State of Assam. The object behind the provisions of Article 301 to 307 is to create and preserve the national economic fiber. The State of Bombay versus RMDC. It was held that the protection offered under Article 301 is available to the lawful trading activity and does not extend to the activities which are res extra commercial. Automobile transport. The Supreme Court recognized the concept of regulatory and the compensatory taxes and held that the compensatory taxes are outside the purview of Article 301. Now we have the topic emergency, the very important topic. Three type emergencies hoti hai. Uh, the first one is uh, national emergency under Article 352, then the state emergency under Article 356, and financial emergency under Article 360. Now let's see the cases. ADM Jabalpur versus Shivkant Shukla. Uh, zyada jane wala case law hai in your questions. Abhi Bihar ke paper mein bhi aaya tha. ADM Jabulpur versus Shifkan Shukla, also known as Hebis Corpus case, during the proclamation of emergency rights under Article 21, can also be suspended. Fir Minerva means hai, there is no bar to judicial review on the validity of the proclamation of the emergency. Hai? The proclamation of emergency par bhi aap judicial review take sakte hai. SR Bomai, judicial review of the presidential proclamation is permissible if the allegations of the malafides have been leveled. Rameshwar Prasad versus Union of India, the governor while recommending the dissolution of assembly has to annex with the report relevant materials and substantiating his decisions. Minerva Mills, there is no bar to judicial review of the validity of the proclamation of emergency issued by the president under article 352. Now we have the very important topic, the amendments. Ki how the amendment is made to the constitution or pure amendment mein you will see a tussle between 
the uh, parliament and the supreme court parliament ko amendments uh, laws leke aati thi supreme court usko overrule kar deta tha fir supreme court ke decision ko overrule karne ke liye ek aur amendment act aa jata tha fir supreme court judicial review ke naam pe usko fir se overrule kar deti thi so this is the whole topic is very very interesting let's see the important case laws shankari prasad versus union of india very important case पावर टू अमेंड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इंक्लूडिंग द फंडामेंटल राइट इज कंटेन अंडर आर्टिकल थ्री सिक्सटी एट इन्होंने कहा पावर टू अमेंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन का मतलब है कि आप फंडामेंटल राइट को भी अमेंड कर सकते हो फिर आया सज्जन सिंह वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ राजस्थान की अमेंडमेंट ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मीन द अमेंडमेंट ऑफ ऑल द पार्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मतलब फंडामेंटल राइट को भी आप अमेंड कर दो देन वी हैव केश आनंद भारती उन्होंने कहा ठीक है पार्लियामेंट सब कुछ अमेंड कर सकती है बट वो उसका बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर अमेंड नहीं कर सकती और बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर क्या है वो आपको हम बताएंगे मतलब वो आपको हम सुप्रीम कोर्ट बताएंगे Now, I R Kolio. Any law placed in the ninth schedule of the Constitution after April twenty fourth, nineteen seventy four, would be open to challenge in the court of law. Many times, examining the date be pushed away. Okay, so pay attention. Now, Golaknath. The Parliament had no power from the date of this decision to amend the Part Three of the Constitution. So far, it takes away or bridges the fundamental rights. Golaknath has held that the fundamental rights are not possible. Then Minerva Mills, the Supreme Court struck down the clause four and five of Article three sixty eight on the ground that it destroys the basic structure of the Constitution. Now there are some miscellaneous case laws which are very important. K T Plantation Private Limited right to get compensation in case of deprivation of property is inherent under Article three hundred and eight. Chhika. CPIO Supreme Court the office of chief justice of india is a public authority under the right to information act people's union for the civil liberty introduced the concept of negative wrong voting shah faisal versus union of india 2020 ka judgment hai a decision or a judgment can also be per inquirium if it is not possible to reconcile its issue now we have buddha dev case aadhar cards shall be issued to sex workers on the basis of the pro forma certificate which is issued by uibai common cause the supreme court has simplified the procedure for executing the living will or advance directives theek okay. hai hindustan construction company struck down section 87 of the arbitration and conciliation act the provisions which brought back the automatic stay provisions to be manifestly arbitrary and violative of article 14 of the constitution of india the union of india versus rajendra shah the supreme court struck down the provision of the constitution act to the extent it introduced part uh, 9b on the constitution to deal with the cooperative societies Further, we have Nisha Priya Bhartia versus Union of India. Article three hundred and eleven is manifestation of the principles of natural justice and the government to ensure that such decision is preceded by inquiry, coupled with the opportunity of being heard and making representation against such decisions. Brajesh Singh versus Sunil Arora. The political parties must publish the criminal antecedents, if any, of the candidates within the forty-eight hours of their selection. All right, so uh, we are done with all the constitutional case laws, be it landmark case laws, relevant case laws, or the recent case laws. And soon we'll be coming with the CRPC case laws, IPC case laws, and uh, many more case laws. But those will be exclusively for our premium users. All right, so you can take a note from uh, this session. You can download this document from our Telegram channel, which is at Zobla Official. Link is given in the description, and you can download this document. You can refer this document to make your own notes, notes for your. Uh, other subjects also all right so until we meet again keep learning keep shining and keep your ambitions high take care bye bye